who can answer any technical questions. Where we are right now, uh, we are on the home page of the Shore Automation website, and we try to give you as much information as we can in order to make a decision quickly. Our home page gives a little description of every valve that we offer, and as you go down, you can see that uh, the picture changed on the left-hand side. Um, what we're going to do today, though, we're going to go to the ST series. Click on that. And when we're here, this is our product page. Our product page gives you more detailed information, obviously. And it gives you some different specifications, whereas, you know, you, if you click on this and see on the specifications, this isn't the correct valve, you can quickly back out, choose another valve, and go back in and see that one. We try to make it quick as possible, not too many clicks to get what you're looking for. Um, right now, we're going to go click on Mr. Configurator. That takes us to the valve configurator. In order to configure a valve, we have three steps in order to get your quote. That's it. Steps one through uh, uh, four steps. I'm sorry, one through four. And as you see, after step two, this picture will start changing, as well as the model number, price, and this description will start to change. Start. We offer uh, the first step is select valve and body options. We have two different types: lug and wafer. Lug goes up to 24 inch. Wafer is up to 12. I'm just going to cl click the three inch lug standard. Um, your next option is a stem extension. The stem extension just, it is just what it's called. It, it, it raises the stem of the valve. Just in case your valve is underground, underwater, um, in a pit, somewhere where you don't want a guy going down there opening and closing it or you don't want your operator down, in, in, down there as well. The only information we need is this distance. And this distance is, is you know, how high the extension will be, and we measure from the base of the mounting pad on the actuator to the top flange of the valve. And we would just put this in inches, and we have a minimum 12 inches. Um, so you put that in, and we'll add the stem extension when we're assembling. Your next option is seal material. Our two options for seal material are EPDM or BUNA. The disc is always stainless steel, so that's not an option at this point. Our second step is to select an actuator type. And, they, and their options. We have two diff uh, three different operators, a pneumatic, electric, or manual. We'll start with our pneumatic operator. And you can see the picture start changing, as well as the model number, price, and we're building a base description at this point. We have two different pneumatic actuators, our O series, which is a modified Scotch yoke, usually our more economical operator, and our E series, which is a rack and pinion. In both of these, we also have um, Two different options. We have spring return, which is uh, fail close, which would be air to open, spring to close. Fail open, which would be air to close, spring to open. Or double acting, which is air to open, air to close. Same thing with the E, uh, with the e series. Um, I'm going to choose 80 psi, spring return, fail close operator. Pretty standard once again. Now with our pneumatic actuator, we have a couple of different options uh, or accessories. A solenoid valve a limit switch, or a positioner. Uh, we'll start with the solenoid valve. We have weatherproof or explosion proof. I'll click on the weatherproof. You can see the picture changes again. It builds onto the model number, changes the price. You have three different choices. You have a cord grip um, DIN, DIN connector where you have to wire into the DIN. Same thing with, uh, with the half-inch conduit. You wire the DIN connector. We also offer the cord set where we wire the DIN, and we offer you a 6 or 15 foot pigtail or lead. A after you decide which one's right for you, you go, uh, you, you choose the voltage you're looking for, either 120 volt AC or 24 volt or 12 volt DC. The other option we have is explosion proof. There's only one option. It's a conduit connection. It's UL and CSA approved. And, uh, but again, you still have your options for voltages. The next option is limit switch. Again, it's weatherproof and explosion-proof uh, limit switches we offer. The first one is weatherproof. It's a very standard mechanical switches, um, our YF switch. We also have the uh, puck-type switch, either an AC-DC switch or just DC alone. Um, the final option for limit switches is our explosion-proof limit switch. This one's a class 1 Div 2. It's a proximity switch. There's actually a light on the proximity switch where you can see through the cover um, from, across, you know, from across your plant or wherever. Um, and we also have class 1 div 1. It's just an aluminum cover. We have the prox, proximity as well as mechanical. Your final option um, for the pneumatic actuators is positioner. 
and by the way, the solenoid valves and limit switches, you can choose both of them as an option. But the positioner, you cannot. It's just a positioner. We have a pneumatic positioner where it's a 3 to, 50, uh, uh, 3 to 15 PSI control air. This way you can control your butterfly valve anywhere from fully closed to fully open. It's not just open and closed. And we also have electro pneumatic. It's a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. And again, you control it from fully closed to fully open. You know, and our final option is the same thing, 4 to 20, but an explosion-proof package. The other operator type is electric. We have three different electric operators. One's our K-series that goes all the way up to 20 inch. It's just available in 120 volt. We also have our I-series that's available in 120 and 24 volt AC, as well as 24 volt DC. This one we use up to eight, we could use up to eight inches. And also if you're looking for a positioner, electric positioner on here, uh, zero, uh, 10 volt DC or four to 20, the I-series is the only one we offer. If you do need something over, uh, over eight inches, you just have to call into our sales, um, sales staff and, and they'll help you with that. We just don't have it available um, on the configurator. We also offer the explosion proof. That's good all the way up to 24 inches. Our final one is a manual operator. And what we have, we have the basic lever, 10 position handle. That's good up to 8 inches. Once we get to 10, it forces you to the gear box. Um, so anything 10 and above, you have to have a gear, but it is optional on any of the other ones. We also offer a chain wheel option which is, you know, if the butterfly valve is way up in the ceiling and you want the guy operating it from the ground, you just tell us how many feet you need of chain and we'll, you know, we'll send along the chain wheel along with uh, the chain, along with the order. After you've made your decision of what valve you want, I'm just going to go to 3 inch standard 120 volt and K-series actuator. The next option is select your accessories. We have installation nuts and bolts, and this is, and if you choose this option on this valve, it's going to give you the set of nuts and bolts for this particular valve you just configured. So if you do, if you go, if you go into cart and then come back out and do another one, and you you have to do this every time because you have different sizes and each size carries its own number of bolts that you need. Same thing with pipe flanges. We offer slip-on, weld neck standard, and weld neck heavy. And if you choose this, we will send you two for this specific size. Finally, we can add it to cart. And once you get to cart. You can do a couple of things here. First, obviously, we can go back and add another valve to the cart if, it, if your project contains many valves. Um, and you can see right up here, it, it keeps your cart total. But just to keep the time down, I'm not going to do that. You can also go to our main, back to the main home page or main storefront and add a different type of valve. The other nice uh, thing we have is add edit notes. I'm just going to put my name here, especially if this is a part of a project. It keeps the notes with this valve or with all the valves that, that, that you put in your cart. Um, after that, we can go to print. If you print it out at this point, you just print this window. Now you have a, a hard copy of a quote. You also have the, uh, the option of email a quote. And this is if you want to email yourself a copy. I'm going to do I'm just going to email, email myself a copy. You enter your email address, and then I'm going to enter my email address again. But say you want to send this up to purchasing or whoever, you could also put a comma, uh, put anybody else's uh, email address also. And you know you could do a bunch of them up to infinity. Uh, this is the subject that will show up in the email. And I'm just going to put uh, messages, Mike, this is the valve well, I need. And then we'll send it. What I'll do is I'll show you what it looks like. And in the email, that's what the quote looks like. And it's still, uh, it's still it, it comes with all the notes that were there. Um, and you're ready to go. And also, we have a checkout now. So you know, just like any other checkout, you click here and uh, you can process your order like you do at any other store.